hello everyone welcome back so uh, in this video we are going to we are going to look into how you can create stream level security so uh, there are two types of security that you can actually maintain in streams so uh, i have segregated into two parts one is uh, the basic stream uh, you know uh, security rule you can jump to the qmc go to security rules or you can just jump to your stream let's say i have a stream called as demo over here you will see a security rule and based on that you will see a security rule as per your stream so this is the security rule for your stream and let's say i want i don't want to uh, you know give access to certain users and you have to uh, you know maintain a lot of security rules instead i want to make something which is a little generic so what do i mean by generic is uh, when i am assigning the users i will assign which stream access that particular person has using custom property and security rules so this is advanced level so i prefer doing that when i am you know setting up a new machine for the client and uh, i will create those certain rules for uh, for the client that uh, they can manage it well so uh, instead of going and doing it here what i'll do is i will delete this particular rule now certainly i don't have the rule so when i refresh i am a root user so i am getting this particular app i will go to incognito mode i will open a hub for a user and over here as you can see that particular user only has access to his work no other stream so I will minimize I will go to my QMC again now let's create a new custom property from manage resources over here you will have an option to create new over here you need to create a name for your custom property so I am going to provide it a name called as let's say okay so I have given a quick description over here you need to check on two different resource type so in this part resource type you will see streams and user so you need to check on those and over here in the custom property value you need to create you need to create some new value so uh, you need to add the stream name that you actually create so for my case i have uh, a stream called as demo i will add that stream so in let's say i will have a stream called as demo uh, you know uh, i'll say hr okay i'll save so hr is something that isn't present so uh, I am going to go to my streams. I will edit. Uh, sorry, I am going to my stream, stream, stream. Yes, create new. I will say HR, and I will say apply. Okay, apply for now. So over here I have this particular stream property. <coughs> I will delete this, and here I will have HR stream. So over here, I don't have any application for that. So I am going to create a new app called as HR and I will add a dummy data to this particular app. So I have created an app with one single sheet saying HR application. That's it. And I'm going to close this, right click, publish. Okay, I don't have the stream. I will refresh, right click, publish to that particular stream okay so I am the root admin so I'm going to see all those 
let's go to that particular user and refresh as you can see he doesn't has access to demo as well as the HR stream so in QMC now I'm going to write a custom security rule to do that you need to go to create new button and uh, let's give it a name called as user custom so I'll write a description quick okay over here I'm going to click on this particular button as you can see it's given it all so over here you will have an option of stream access okay just take this stream rule uh, okay uh, sorry stream access as you can see it's giving the stream rule oh my god my name is gone I am going to rename it again give me a minute okay so I have given it a name stream access to custom users and all the stuff over here I will say read and publish access and in name I am going to select the custom property and over here I'll add the custom property again okay so uh, I will just say hash stream and you can see the custom property is up here so as you can see in advance it will look something like this so if the user has this particular stream and the resource type has this particular custom object then give it an access so over here I will say preview and nothing pops up I will say apply I will go back go to my stream and I will rename this as HR I will give it as HR in demo I will go here and say it's a demo custom property in users I will go to user 1 in this I am going to give it an HR access that's it and now let's go to this particular user let's refresh as you can see now he has access to the HR stream in this way you just need to add one more user here let's say I have user 2 and in this custom property let's say I don't want to give him access of the export data if you have not seen the video for export uh, you can go back and see the first video over here I want to give it a stream called demo I will say apply let's check this user this is user 2 and let's log this user out create go to the new incognito mode hub let's open user 2 and as you can see he has access to the stream called demo so in this way you can give multiple stream access i'll meet you in the next one thank you